Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody, it's Alma. So guys, this happened. This happened to me over the weekend. I can't remember if I got it Friday or Saturday, but this happened. I love sunflower seeds to a fault. And this package is a package of six servings, five net carbs. And I went to town on these guys. I ate this in two and a half days, I think. Yeah, not good guys. Especially if you have Crohn's disease, not good. If you have self-control guys, these are the best sunflower seeds out there. Just keep in mind that a serving is actually just a quarter cup of kernels. So yeah, not a good thing. Anyway, enough of that. I am eating out of my refrigerator and my freezer. Here's Daisy. And uh, yesterday I made myself some wings for uh, dinner. And so I am warming up three wings. I also had made um, a skillet breakfast pizza, frittata, whatever you like to call it. Having a portion of that. And this is for David. Um, I'm trying to clear out my freezer a little bit. So I have my broccoli rice and cheese casserole from May 8th. Took that out of the freezer, put it in these two containers. They're gonna go in my air fryer. And this will be our lunch slash dinner. David may eat one of these for lunch and one for dinner. We'll wait and see. Don't know if he's gonna do an OMAD. Don't know what his plans are, but I am being prepared just in case. So also guys, here you go. So my big giant cup, you know how much I love that. And you know that I'm doing my challenge for my one month. It's today is the 11th. So it's been 11 days of no artificial sweeteners and limited sugar alcohol, stevia, erythritol, monk fruit. And guys, I have turned into a unsweetened tea freak. I love it. So I just put in my lime or my lemon. Keep in mind that does add carbs. But I have my drink, maybe two little squirts of my stevia, just like this. And I'm done. Mix it up and I'm good to go. Love it, love it, love it. Never would have thought that I would have been able to give up my diet gold peak tea with tons of aspartame. But love this. And I think I just kind of feel like I'm still being... Um, spoiled a little bit by not having to brew the tea. Uh, maybe I'll get to that point. I don't know. But right now, this is a great substitute. So let me get to my our food warmed up. I might be doing an egg fast tomorrow, guys. Let me ask you a question on your egg fast. Please tell me um, what it is that you guys do. Do you have your first egg 30 minutes upon waking? I have never done that. Maybe I should try. But 30 minutes upon waking means I'm on the trail and I usually don't want to have anything on my in my stomach when I go on the trail. So let me know how you guys handle that. All right. All right, guys, I think this is going to wrap it up. Just kind of wanted to show you what our lunch might look like on a typical day. I'll probably add a little bit of mayonnaise to this to up my fat a little bit. Same thing for David's. Um, and then that's it. We should be doing a grocery haul this week, a meal prep, which I started this weekend. And yeah, guys, that wraps it up. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Joyce Wednesday. It's a neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rind, pork rind, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.